Strategic thinking means being able to develop a strategy or a plan to achieve a particular vision. Strategic thinking frames every decision by how it contributes to achieving that vision. One common stumbling block to strategic thinking is the status quo. The current state tends to exert a lot of influence over future states, and we call this resistance to change path dependency. Path dependency means that we must reach the future from the present, so the current state sets a path for the future. Good strategic thinking takes path dependency into account and can even turn it into an asset or an advantage. A popular example of strategic thinking involves the game of chess. A chess player has a vision of winning the game, and it might begin with a strategy of being either offensive or defensive. After a few turns, it might begin to seem prudent to change that strategy because the game has reached an unexpected place. Chess also serves as an excellent illustration of long-term versus short-term gains. Strong chess players will often sacrifice a powerful piece to lure an opponent into a core position. While losing the powerful piece might be detrimental in the short term, the new position on the board can provide a strategic advantage that eventually wins the game. An example more relevant to your career path comes from the book Why Don't Students Like School? Daniel Willingham relates that memory is the residue of thought, which challenges a teacher to facilitate their students thinking about meaning and to be strategic in the methods they select to convey the content. The teacher who thinks strategically will design activities that engage students in thinking about the desired content. One tool Willingham mentions that helps to achieve this goal is narrative and storytelling, which the human brain is particularly interested in remembering. Relating content by a story is often a strategic method teachers use to convey meaning in a relevant and engaging way.